everybody. Today is a beautiful day. Finally can get outside and do some of these videos that I've been wanting to do. But the first one I want to knock out is this one. Like I said in one of the previous videos, this is the time of the year to start prepping your gardens for spring. The cold weather keeps a lot of the plants down, so why not use this time to re-energize, revitalize your gardens, right? Add fertilizer to them, let it break down naturally and seep down into the soil, mix it in, and it'll do the same thing. But what I wanted to do this year, because I have these new raised beds that I just bought, and then I have the cinder block bed that I made in August that I'll put a link to the, I'll put a link down below to that video. Um, that soil's new. It's not, it hasn't had time to really mature. So a lot of the crops that I put in there in fall and winter didn't really do anything. So what I want to do, or what I was thinking of doing is, is adding a, a really good fertilizer to the soils starting basically now through until March 1st. And I wanted to try cow manure. I heard it's really good. Um, so I thought, why not do it? So I went and bought a whole bunch of these bags. The day that I was getting ready to lay down the cow manure in those beds, I saw on another channel that I watch, which is no secret to anyone who watches this channel. I follow Scott Head on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening quite a bit. Now I don't watch all of his videos because I don't want to get jaded in what I'm doing or what my ideas are for videos or what I've learned through the experience of me doing this. But when I saw the title to his video, I was like, I need to watch this one. And I'm going to put a screenshot of his video that I'm talking about up right here so you all can go over and watch it. Now he gets really in depth, really scientific with everything. And that's not what I'm gonna do. One, I can't remember the name of the herbicide that is sprayed on the grass that the cows eat. So I'm not even gonna try all that. I'm gonna keep it really simple because that's what I need. <laughs> I need it to be really simple. So here's what I learned in a nutshell from watching his video. Full disclaimer, I learned all this from watching his video. So that's why I'm saying go over and watch that video for a more in depth. I'm gonna keep this really simple. Farmers will spray a herbicide in the fields where the cows eat the grass. Now, that herbicide kills a certain type of plant, a certain type of grass, and it does not hurt the cows when they eat it, when they eat the grass that has the herbicide on it. Now, one, that's to me, that's terrible, but I get it from a business standpoint. Two, the cows, when the, they eat the herbicide, it does not break down in their system, so it comes right back out. So when they go back and they harvest the cow manure to then turn it into a commercial grade fertilizer, that herbicide, that herbicide is still in the cow manure. So when you lay it down on your beds, it's going to affect the plants that you grow. And it affects tomatoes, peppers, a certain type of plant, which again, he explains a lot more in detail on, that cha on his channel in that video. But and he even says that he didn't know about this and he lost an entire year in one of his beds because he laid down a cow manure that had that herbicide in it. So <laughs> I was like, man, I am not about to lay this down without testing it. So he shows a very simple test in his video that I'm going to do right here on this video. And I feel that, and I feel this is very important to share. Um, I never have, taken ideas from another video and then made them my own. But this one is incredibly important and I'm giving him all the credit. So, you know, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong in this video. Um, I'm just wanting, I just really want to share this knowledge because I was about to lay it down. I was about to lay down the cow manure and if it is bad, I would have lost my entire season. And this is only my second season of uh, growing. So I feel it's very important to share. So this is what we're going to do. So right now, I'm gonna show you the test that he showed on the video, super easy, and we're gonna knock it out. Okay, so the first thing we do is we cut into the back. <clears throat> okay, so what he said to do was you take some of the cow manure. Now this had rain, this, this cow manure, these bags have been sitting out here for a few days and we had rain, so that's why these are so wet. And yes, I'm touching it, it's all good.
get some of the manure out of the bag and put it in a pot. Now this one has a hole in the bottom and it's short base. So I'm gonna be able to put this on the heat mat um, and get this thing growing inside to test it. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take seeds from the two plants that are mostly affected by that herbicide. So I've got a pepper plant, pepper seeds, and I have tomato seeds. So we're gonna plant two of each in here. And then I'm gonna go put it on the heat mat. And then in about two weeks, I'm hoping, will have growth enough to know if this test works. Now, so what we're looking for is if there is herbicide in this cow manure, the leaves will start to curl in. Now, you wanna wait for the true leaves. You're not waiting for that first growth to come up. Those are leaves that come off the seed, the outside of the seed. Those don't count as leaves. That's just the initial growth. What you're looking for are the true leaves, the leaves that are the the tomato plant's leaf, the pepper plant's leaf. And you want two to three sets of those to be growing to see if there's any herbicide in your cow manure. And again, what you're looking for is the leaf, the true leaves to stay nice and healthy and open and, you know, bright green. You, if they start to curl at all, do not use that cow manure. Get rid of it. Now, he mentions in the video that you can use it on certain type of plants that don't have leaves like, that don't have leaves that would be affected, but I'm not growing any of those here, so not even going to, uh, <laughs> I would get rid of this completely. It's gone, if there's herbicide in it. First, we're gonna put the pepper seeds in. Now, I grew these last year, so I know these seeds are good. So we're gonna use these two seeds right here as pepper, as the pepper seeds. You can see them right down in those holes. And then we're gonna use these yellow pear tomatoes. Now these grew like a champ for me last year. So many tomatoes came off of these seeds, so I know these are good. And those are the first two that came out, so they're the lucky test subject. Where are you at? And there are the two tomato seeds. Okay, now we're just gonna cover them up. And there we have it. The seeds are in here. We're gonna go water them in. Then we'll get them in there on the heat mat. All right, so here it is right here. We're inside. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this inside my little makeshift greenhouse here. Just because it's really cold in the garage still. And I wanna make sure that the seeds get plenty of warmth. So if you come in, you can see the condensation inside the bag. So like I said yesterday in the single seed challenge video on the reason I made this little makeshift greenhouse is because I know this works. And it's 52 degrees in this garage and inside this bag it's uh, it's 76 degrees. So we're, we're good. All right, everybody, so that's the video. I think this is a really important video. And again, that's why I wanted to share what I learned from Black Gumbo's channel. This is something that I think could help a lot of people with their gardens, whether you're an amateur gardener, a beginner gar I mean, whether you're a beginner gardener, a seasoned gardener, whatever. Um, this is something that I really feel important. I really felt is very important to share. So here's what I'm gonna do with this video. In two weeks or so, whenever I have an update on this test, I will do a, an update video on this to let everybody know. Now today is January 16th, so we still got about six weeks until, um, at least for this area, the first expected, the last expected frost date of March 1st. So you still got plenty of time. And that's why I wanted to do this video as soon as I could, because you, you need time to let your seeds grow. So as soon as I have an update on this experiment, uh, I will let you all know, okay? Hope everyone found this video educational. If you did, please share it. Please like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram, Down Home Backyard Gardening. And hey, as always, shine bright and harvest hard. Bye. All right, hey everybody. So today is a beautiful, <clears throat> man, here we go again with my throat. All right, hey, 
Hey everybody, today is... Okay, so what he... <laughs> okay. You know, I don't know if I'm gonna use that or not. Yeah. So, everything, and that's not what I'm gonna do. Um, one, I can't remember the name of the, the poison. Um, one, I can't remember the name of the fertilizer, the, um, for one, I can't remember the name of the uh, pesticide. The, man, I just can't do this right now. For one, I can't remember the name of the herbicide.